Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. My good friend, Richard Joaquin, he's here in my studio, so you know who he is. He's with Brilliant Energy. That's BrilliantEnergy.com. Those guys I talk about really quite often on the show. Their commitment to customer service, to quality. Uh, these guys are really awesome. And, you know, I'm uh, not only a customer, I'm a huge fan. And, uh, Richard, as always, good to see you. Likewise, it's good to see you too. It's always a pleasure being on the show. Today is a special day for Brilliant Energy, where we're hosting uh, the Harris County Animal Shelter volunteers and hard workers on the show to help us shed some light on the beautiful life that they try to provide for our abandoned uh, dogs and cats and the strays and the struggles they go through and the uh, pleasant outcomes that they provide for these wonderful animals. Yeah, absolutely. By the way, that website for them is HC. P H E S dot org. H C P H E S dot org. Before we get into our interview, do you want to mention if you go to priceofbusiness.com, you'll see our ad there for Brilliant Energy and customers who sign up through priceofbusiness.com, they get a fifty dollar uh, gift card as well. And so showing some love to both my listeners and to the Price of Business show. We appreciate you, man. Thank you. We appreciate you. Let's go straight to our guest, Colleen Hodges. She is with Education and Outreach for this organization. Why don't you kind of give us an elevator speech of what you guys are all about? Thank you for having us, first of all. And thank you to Brilliant Energy for all of their help and, and sponsorship and all the toys you guys have done and the special programs that give the shelter money and all those wonderful things. You guys are great. We appreciate you doing it. You're very welcome. We are the Harris County Animal Shelter. Our job is to... Um, take care of the pets of Harris County and to help people to be safe in their neighborhoods with their pets and basically try to rehome those animals that people in, in unincorporated Harris County can't keep for themselves. Mm -hmm. Very good. Richard, your question? From our perspective as self-proclaimed uh, pet lovers at Brilliant Energy, we wanted to connect with our community and share our passion for pets. Therefore, about a year ago, we looked for this wonderful organization that carries the name Harris County Animal Shelter to associate ourselves with. To be able to give back to the community, uh, we realize there's a huge problem in Houston uh, with overpopulation of animals and the need to care for them. So we're trying our best to extend the hand to the shelter and the shelter folks to help these wonderful animals. And we sincerely appreciate everything you guys have done, not only just the donations with the girls coming out with the toys and the food and the treats and all that stuff, but also with the, the energy plan that you have that actually gives the shelter cash money that we can spend on extra vaccines or testing. Uh, animal care, I don't know, as you know, is rather expensive. And so every time you do a heartworm test, it costs this much. And every time you do a vaccination, it costs that much. And all of those donations help go towards those types of things that help us get animals healthy and put them back into the communities. Budget-wise, we're probably, of the major animal shelters in town, we're the lowest funded, so we hmm. appreciate every penny you can give us, and it goes directly to the animals. Yeah, and it was interesting to see because of the way it looks, the site looks to fill, the fact that you cannot turn down any animal, regardless of how no. difficult that animal circumstances Absolutely are. Absolutely not. What is your relationship with the government, the, the we Harris are, County we, government? We are a, a division of Harris County government. We are under the Public Health and Environmental Services Department, so we are part of government. And because of that, anyone who brings us an animal from our jurisdictional area, unincorporated Harris County, we have to take it whether it's sick or healthy or aggressive or nice or, you know, two weeks old and doesn't have a, a mother cat or mother dog, we have to take those animals. Mm -hmm. And then we would like to find a way to have happy outcomes for those animals. And that is time consuming and expensive. And so many and volunteers are always needed and appreciated. We struggle with our space issues. Our shelter was built in 1986 and really hasn't added any kennel space since then. Wow. And when so, you consider how much Houston has grown since then. Absolutely. Lord when I, when, have mercy. When we started, I think our population was like 875,000 or something. So that was quite a while ago. We're built to handle about 12,000 animals a year, and we're dealing with about 25,000 a year now. Richard? 2.1 million residents outside Harris County and uh, outside the city of Houston about 25,000 animals taken care of last year by the shelter versus their capacity of 12,000. You can only uh, sense and feel the overcrowding and uh, what ends up happening uh, in, in the degraded, uh, perhaps, care that's involuntary for these animals. At this point in time, 
There's, and I'll let uh, Colleen discuss this uh, in uh, detail, there's a huge, wonderful proposition, Proposition 3, up for voting uh, this coming up uh, November 3rd, this coming Tuesday on November 3rd. I see Colleen is raring to go. Our Give facts, that rundown. Absolutely. The facts are that Proposition 3 is a, a bond proposition for $24 million to build a new animal shelter for Harris County. And I think it's important to note that on the bond itself, it's not going to say animal shelter. It's going to be called a veterinary public health adoption and care center. So it doesn't say shelter. It says adoption and care center. But it will build not only a new shelter for for Harris County, but will also provide space for additional housing or longer housing of animals because of the overcrowding. You can't hold animals as long as you would like to to give them a chance to be adopted to allow us to isolate animals. So those animals that come in that are sick, we have a way to put them someplace separate from the rest of the population so they don't infect everybody while we treat them. Awesome. Also space for, uh, in the future, a, a clinic for um residents to come and bring their pets for treatment. And so all of these things are geared towards getting more animals out alive as well as having these animals treated and not come into the shelter. I understand that. You know, Richard, I want to tell you, I think you're pretty awesome for for bringing this to our attention because I watch a lot of news, you know, during election cycle, and I didn't see hardly anything about this proposition. And so you bringing this to our listeners' attention, and I'm with you on this. I know they've got that delicate position of where where they can inform, but they can't endorse. You know that's the uh, challenge that they have at uh, at HCPHES. You know, but you and I have that luxury. I think it's so important you brought this, you know, to our audience's attention. I appreciate you doing that. You are so very welcome. It really uh, is dear to our heart. The subject matter is uh, extended throughout our company. We have such a passion for pets and. Uh, that's just one way that we extend ourselves to the community. And if we can do any good in any portion of that, we're, we're ready for it. Colleen, let me ask you, what happens if this doesn't pass? That's a really good question. Um, we will probably, we still need a new shelter. The building we have is 30 years old and things like uh, plumbing and air conditioning and all those things are, need re, you know repairs and upgrades and those kind of things. It's just not going to happen all at once. And probably long term, it would end up being more expensive. Yeah. You know, and I'm a big, you know, fiscal conservative. Anyone hears my program, they know that. But the the reality is, is that there are some things that are functions that work on a local level. This is something that needs to exist. There is no viable alternative out there. And it needs to be done in a way that functions in a humane way. That really shows the best of Houstonians, not the worst of it. And really, the way the status quo right now is, seems to be a reflection of the worst rather than the best. We certainly can't provide the care and and the resources that we would like to, that we think the animals deserve, and we think the people of Harris County deserve. Um, We would like to do better, and we struggle with the limitations of what we currently have. And so we're hoping that uh, that this will help us to better serve the people and the pets of Harris County. Um, That's what it all comes down to. H-C-P-H-E-S dot org. I want to encourage you to check it out. Get the great information there. BrilliantEnergy.com, but also go to PriceOfBusiness.com so you can save 50 bucks and Absolutely. click that uh, cl- click that logo there. Uh, Richard, final thoughts. Again, I, I want to uh, congratulate you, you know, because I know you as a humanitarian, a person who really cares about your your neighborhood, you care about our, our uh, families, our animals. I think, you know, I think it's awesome that you brought this, you know, to our listeners. I appreciate it. Thank you for having us and giving us the uh, forum to be able to discuss some really important issues, not only to the animals, but to the residents of uh, Houston and the state of Texas as well. This is an epidemic that we need to deal with and would like to get the word out. Yeah, absolutely. So I encourage the listener Check out hcphes.org. Learn about this important proposition. It flashes right up there on the homepage. You can get more information about it. And uh, give us some serious thought. You know, and meanwhile, in the interim, consider donating to this organization. You know, regardless of Absolutely. what happens with this, uh, you know, $25 million in bonds, regardless of what happens with that, you still have financial needs. We still have financial needs. We still have animals coming in the door, whether or not this passes Um, We still have animals that need to be taken care of. We still have people that need our services. So by all means, financial donations are needed. Volunteers are are needed. So anyone that wants to volunteer, please go to the website and look at our different volunteer opportunities. Yeah. All the help we can get. Approximately 80 animals a day come into your facilities. That's a lot of animals. That's a lot of animals. And apparently uh, last year was a pretty big year for you guys. 
25,000. That's... It was a big year for you well, guys. Well, different, different days. Different yeah. Times. Some days are more, some days are less, you know. Yeah, that's right. But that's a lot of animals. Thanks to all of you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you having us. Keep up the great work there, Richard. We certainly will do. Thank you, you bet. for putting our animals on Facebook, Richard. My yeah, pleasure. yeah, absolutely. I'm going to start doing that, too, because they are so dang cute. All right. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. And this is The Price of Business.